Good evening. We bring you the latest in the world of sports. I'm Paolo Del Rosario. We give you the conversations you want to hear from your favorite icons and athletes. I'm Zihir Basho. Tonight, we'll talk about the Noi Hoops legend headed to the FIBA Hall of Fame. But first, we'll talk to you about the heart of volleyball with Cherry Tigo and PLDT. Buckle up, sports fans. Let's get in the game. Now, the Cherry Tico crossovers are seeking redemption in the PBL Invitational as they get a new look in time for the new conference. Now, let's get the latest from the members themselves. We have Ooh. with us crossovers, Mylene, Pat, yes. and Bongay Gaston. Bongay, you're here! <laughs> you're time. here on time! I'm so happy! <laughs> yeah, actually, Pao, it's Pauline Gaston. Mm, all right, sorry. It's Pauline now. Pauline. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about this entire team's entire roster. Uh, Mylene, mm. we were talking a while ago, seven in, seven out. In terms of the roster composition of Cherry, mm -hmm. a lot of great new talent coming into Cherry as well. Kamusta naman yung bonding process, building up the chemistry, because it feels like a whole new team, mm -hmm. even if medyo familiar yung mga faces. Uh, actually, ngayon binibuild pa rin namin yung ano yung um, gelling and camaraderie inside the court. And pagdating naman kasi sa uh, labas, nandun yung ano namin eh yung um, bonding, ganon. Pero pagdating sa loob ng court talaga, yun yung communication nawawala sa amin. And of course, knowing na mga bago yung mga kasama ko sa loob, so every training namin, kailangan pinupush pa rin yung bawat isa. And uh, um, knowing naman na yung iba na galing sa, lalo na sila Aya, Laure, uh, sila Robles, na, na naging captain, captain ball ng karing kanilang ano, na kani kanilang uh, school. So, um, may mga nakakatulong naman ako na nag-lead mm -hmm. sa loob ng court. Right. Uh, Pauline, I wanted to ask. <laughs> Pauline. Pauline. Sorry, go on. Pong, I can't come to the yeah. phone right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? <laughs> uh, Pongs, uh, I guess, <laughs> pero iba pa rin. Um, w give me one word that best describes this new team, new look, new composition. Wh who or what is Cherry Tigo this time around? Wow. One word, siguro hungry. Ooh, hungry. Um, I can really feel in each of the players that have come in and mm -hmm. the ones who retain. Everyone is hungry to play. Okay. Everyone is hungry to perform. And, you know, we know that this new uh, conference, this upcoming conference, has uh, only a few games mm -hmm. to right. show. And, you know, every set, every game counts. So this new Cherry Tigo team is really, uh, you know, with only the short amount of time we are given to prepare, mm -hmm. I can tell in the energy and training and um, what we're trying to achieve, everyone's really hungry. And talagang sumusunod kami kay Ate Mylene, and everyone's trusting and following the systems. Yun nga lang, we're just trying to get the groove because we all come from different systems and right. we all come from different um, teams who have adapted different kinds of defense patterns, attack mm -hmm. patterns, mm -hmm. different kinds of sets. So we're still adjusting. Hopefully, mm -hmm. um, it will peak at the right time. Well, Pauline, uh, <laughs> you take a look at the new ones that came in. Grabe yung injection of youth, that energy. What does that do for you know the more veteran members of the team, especially considering the fact that, okay, these are very highly touted young players coming in? Well, I'm first, first I'm glad that we're on the same team. I don't want to see them across the net. That's, you know, playing gotcha. against her is na yun na isang hirap sa buhay namin. So, buti na lang, we're on the same team, we're on the same side of the court. It's, uh, it's really inspiring because when I see, like, First, the veteran players. I can easily look up to them and ask them how they do that. But when you are able to humble yourself down and look at these kids who are growing the game and making it better, talagang di ako na hihiya lumapit sa kanila. Paano mo nagawa yon? Eh, paano mo napalo yon? Ay, mi paano mo nagagawa tong blocking nato? So, you know, I'm really learning from all of them. You know, from UST, from NU, from different kinds of schools. Like, it's really um, inspiring to see that these kids, these new players, play like veterans. Mm -hmm. All right, for you, naman, Mama P, as one of the veterans, how did you make sure that these youngsters are, you know, very much welcomed in the team? Um, pagdating kasi nila, sobrang um, yung tawag nito, sobrang welcome talaga namin, and uh, hindi hindi namin hinahayaan na sila yung mag-adjust sa amin. Okay. So we both adjust, parang sa aming mga um, seniors nila nag-a-adjust kami sa kanila and sila mismo nag-a-adjust so parang give and take kami so yun yung nagiging ano gano'ng kaimportante yung leadership role mo considering that first timers to sa pro scene eh. mm. and they're, they have to raise their level they have to elevate and of course do uh, you all know kung gano'ng ka-grindy mm. yung season mm. when it comes to really tough games 
Actually, sinasabi sa akin ng mga coaches na yung role mo ngayon is parang uh, mas malaki. Mm -hmm. And kailangan ko pangatawanan yun. And when it in terms of ano, uh, skills naman, may mga ka makakatulungan na ako. And yung laging sinasabi sa akin ng coaches na uh, kailangan ikaw na lang yung, pag nasa loob ng court, kailangan ikaw na lang yung magpagalaw sa teammates mo. Ikaw mag-instruct sa kanila kung ano yung gusto namin iparating. And siguro yung big role na ano, nagagampan ng kanyon is not only in attacks or um, sa skills. So, Kumbaga, pati rin yung pag, uh, pagtulong ko, pag-instruct sa mga teammates ko kung anong gagawin. Wala naman generation gap in terms of communication <laughs> ninyo. Hindi, wala naman. Okay. Wala naman. Sure. And that's Mylene Paat mm. with a bigger role right now. Kasi yeah. hindi naman masyadong big yung role niya last conference. Hindi <laughs> naman. Uh, MVP and best opposite. Spiker lang naman siya. So ngayon, hakot na ata. Dumadagdag pa. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, there's more. Share mo ha. <laughs> Share mo yung load. Share mo yung load. Oh. Huh? Alright, but going back to Pauline, um, 11 teams now in the PVL. You mentioned it earlier as well na, you know, we have a short time to prepare and the short time mm. for the whole tournament to be uh, played. Uh, how does it feel knowing that there are 11 teams this time in the PVL? Oh, it's exciting. It's kind of sad actually that we're not going to be able to play all the teams because right. there's going to be a different pool. Yeah. Pool A, Pool B. Mm. So, you know, you're only going to have to really showcase what you have in the amount of games that you have. So, um, there's pressure, of course, but, you know, you can always take a look at pressure as another feeling of excitement. And I'm yes. sure I'm very excited for the new recruits to show what they have because I was able to do that in my last conference, yeah. you know, yeah. with the help of yeah. Ate Maylin. So, <laughs> I'm also excited for how Ate Maylin is going to lead this team. Of course. <laughs> Pero, one of the great things about I guess the lead up to yung conference ato mm -hmm. is that ang daming bagong faces, ang daming yeah, cheese miss. Yes. To the point that kanina habang nag make up si Pauline, we were talking about the cheese miss going around the PVL today. Uh, seeing all that type of excitement, just how excited are you personally, Pauline, to face off against, you know, the, the people we were just talking about in terms yeah. of like, oh, I didn't expect that I'd play them in that uniform. Well, hopefully, aangat yung laro and, you know, tataas yung competition. Tapos dadagdag right. yung mga rivals. And, you know, there's two new teams, actually three, kasama na rin yung Photon. So, looking forward to really the PVL growing mm -hmm. and, you know, the game growing, especially for us volleyball players na walang ganito before. We didn't think na we could look at this as a career and now more people are coming. So, more people to look out for. And speaking of, you know, every game is very important. Let's look into your first match, which is against Cream Lion Cool Smashers. Hmm. How? No biggie. Small game, small game. No biggie. No. No. Right. It's true. <laughs> Mama P, kamusta ang preparations natin? Kamusta ang mindset ng team? Actually, nung lumabas yung schedule na Cream Lion nga yung una naming makakatapat, from dun, from dun pa lang, uh, nagtitrain na talaga na kami, na may mindset namin, oh, cream line yung makakalaban natin. So, kailangan ganito yung ilalaro natin. But then, some, in some point, may mga uh, struggles din talaga and challenges na dumarating. So, uh, kailangan namin i-face lahat yon and um, kailangan talaga namin paghandaan yung uh, champions uh, champions team, mm -hmm. which defending. is yes. defending cream line. You have to beat the best yeah. to be the best. And of course, Mylena, right before we go, mm -hmm. uh, I want to give you this opportunity because a lot of fans out there of Jerry don't know what to expect from Jerry because it's a lot of There's going to be a lot of uh, permutations, there's going to be a lot of uh, changes, combinations. What can you promise you mga fans mo, mga fans ng Jerry, mm -hmm. going into the next conference considering that it's going to be a whole new look? and a whole new challenge para sa group nyo? Um, ayun na nga, yung role ko ngayon is not only to uh, put up points to the team, which is um, mas malaki yung role ko, and mas maraming, mas maraming maaasahan sa team ngayon. So, mm -hmm. not only me ang aabangan nila, kundi yan, Pauline, kung ano yung role niya ngayon, abangan na lang natin mm -hmm. <laughs> sa conference. Sila Aya. Yeah, sila Aya, si Aimee. Si so, mas maraming faces talaga. And knowing na yung mga bago, ma mga bago namin is hindi lang sila yung mga basta-bastang players. Sobrang palaban talaga sila. And uh, sobrang, um, ano bang tawag nito? Mental, mental tough. Yeah, mm -hmm. mentally tough for mm -hmm. sure. Ladies, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, Pauline, 
Thank you very much for being here. <laughs> Miley, thank you. We, 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 we've only talked about the things we talk about. Maraming salamat. <laughs> really appreciate the both of you. <laughs> All right. We'll see you soon uh, on the first game day first on day. the 27th yeah. of June. All right. After the break, we'll hear from another team in red. And this time, we'll have the PLDD high-speed hitters. Stay tuned. You're watching the game. Welcome back to the game. After a semi-final finish in the PVL All-Filipino Conference, the PLDT high-speed hitters are looking to achieve greater heights and faster speeds in the upcoming Invitational Conference. To find out how they plan to get it done, let's ask the high-speed hitters themselves, Mitch Morente, Rachel Austero, and Isa Viray. Ladies, good evening and good welcome evening. to the game. Thank you for having us. Yes. Alam mo eh, high speed eh. Yes. Oh, yeah. wala, wala yan sa script. Magaling ng CZ. Uh, I wanna talk to you first because Call this... Back. Oh, ikaw muna. I yeah. told you I talked to you first. Hindi nang malapit. Oh, oh. Uh, semis last time around for PLDT. Mm -hmm. A win away from making it to the finals. Uh, maybe, maybe a few people kind of underestimated what PLDT could have done and, and did. <laughs> Ano masasabi mo sa con last conference and what do you feel that the team has to build on going to the next one? Uh, uh, I think the team did a pretty well job because last conference our mindset was just to play one game at a time and we didn't even realize that we reached reach kami sa sem semifinal. Mm -hmm. So, alam mo yun, like we were just focusing on the games and then kinabakasan ay pasok na pala tayo sa semi. So it was kind of like a Ay, grabe. Parang ito na pala yung na-reach natin on a such a short period of time. Mm -hmm. And then for this coming conference, I feel like we just have to build our chemistry na mas kilalaan pa namin yung mga nasa loob ng court. Especially, ako, even though one conference lang ako, I still have to get to know everyone. Yeah. And right. yung coach, syempre, Coach, Ra coach Rald is also new. So, alam mo right. yun, mas na... Mas na mas naging okay yung mga sistema, yung mga gusto niyang ilagay sa team or i-involve sa mga training namin. Alright, for you, Rich, um, yeah. alam naman natin na ikaw yung spark plug okay. of sorts ng team, <laughs> energizer bunny ng team. How is this role uh, filled in? Like, parang, kamu ka paano siya 
paano mo siya na ipapakita and kamusta yung growth mo um, you know being with the ladies in in and outside the court yeah, actually um second ano ko pa lang dun eh conference, conference yeah. with them yeah. so bago bago pa lang dun medyo pagkapunta ko sa team parang okay bagong culture na naman and all yes. pero Ayo, di yun lang kailangan mo lang talaga ang i-maintain kung ano yun napakita mo before. Ayo sa kanila. Well, is a coming out of transition na ba yung PLDT considering that last conference parang ang daming bagong phases, ang daming well, even sa staff and trying to make sure that everything turned out well. Tapos nag-semis pa kayo. Masasabi mo ba na going into yung next conference, medyo coming out of transition, sisettle na ang PLDT? Um, for, siguro opo. Kasi... Tuli-tuli naman po yung training namin and maayos naman po yung ginagawa namin every training. So, I think, kaya naman po. Okay na. Going back to you, Mitch, again, congratulations to this Redemption Conference in the All Filipino Conference. Everybody was so happy, you know, parang ito na siya, ulit, nagbabalik, Mitch Perente. <laughs> How is this role like now? Especially, that was your first conference with PLDT. Yeah. Yeah. Um, was it expected, like, before the tournament started, ba sinabi na, oh, Mitch, ito yung papel mo, gampanan natin. <laughs> And how is it like now coming into another conference? Actually, uh, hindi naman ako dapat talaga na sa first six. Eh. <laughs> but I was just, you know, like I did my job, so I guess I earned the spot. But yes. hindi Deserve. ko, hindi ko. Deserve naman. <laughs> <laughs> Pero hindi ko alam na ang bigat pala ng role ko sa team. Like mm -hmm. I never saw it that way. Na parang I just wanted to play. I just wanna show everyone my talent. I just wanna show the team, the management who trusted me with this. Mm -hmm role in the team, diba? So, parang, right. after mga, like, after that, the tournament ko lang na-realize, ang oh, bigat pala ng role ko. <laughs> Hindi ko elixir. <laughs> parang, nauula din kasi, kasi, you know, when you enjoy yes. the game, you enjoy what you're doing, nawawala sa isip mo na, ah, ito pala yun, na parang, late mo na lang na-realize, ang bigat pala. <laughs> Pero, this, ano naman, parang, this coming season, I, I, parang, I'm working on myself na ma- Siyempre, to help the team pa, to be more consistent throughout the games. And, you know, kung ano pa yung kaya ko ibigay sa team, all out na. Yes. <laughs> Gusto ko yan, working on yourself yeah. for others. Uh, Rachel, you take a look at uh, yung mindset ninyo last conference. Sabi nga ni Mitch kanina na one game at a time yeah. and you didn't even expect na magsisemis kayo. Has that changed going to next conference considering na, oh, nagsemis na kayo? We can make it to the podium. We can fight for it. In fact, one game away kayo from the yeah. finals last time. Around. Actually, everyone naman gusto yung the crown, di ba? Yes. Yung ganda ng podium finish. And okay din na matawag na, ano eh, na underdog. Kasi no one is expecting anything kapag pag underdog ka. Pero sa sa amin, parang, ang saya na i-prove sa kanila na, oops, we're not just, <laughs> I mean, you can call us underdog, <laughs> pero, uh, yeah. kabahan kayo. Kabahan <laughs> <laughs> kayo. Kabahan kayo. Kaya is wait lang. <laughs> True. Alright, Isa, um, alam naman natin, one of the biggest uh, names who are, who's part of your team is, of course, your other counterpart, si Kat Arado. How does it feel, how is it like being, you know, uh, teammates with her, you know, training side by side, may nakuha ka na bang very important tips na you might want to share? Or like, how is it like, you know? Um, sobrang saya. Kasi Kat Arado, eh, best libero. One mm -hmm. of the best libero in the Philippines. So, um, lagi naman niya akong sinasabihan every training na, galingan mo, ayusin mo. Lagi, niya, lagi siyang nasa gilid ko na, Isa, ano na, kaya pa. Ganun, lagi niya akong nililift up kung ano dapat kong gawin. <laughs> Rach, ano masasabi mo tukul sa competition ngayon? Daming, daming bagong teams, daming bagong faces. It feels like every team, big lang, well, like you can you can form a new starting six for other yeah. teams. So <laughs> actually, actually. Considering what's happening, so ano mo sa mo tungkol sa field right now, especially actually, since field it hasn't really changed a lot. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. Actually, exciting. Lalo sa men, de ba? Parang onti lang yun din ng the sa ibang teams, marami talaga ganda mo. Just parang okay. Just, just show them what we can do. Uh -huh. Good. Yeah. Let's just walk the talk. Oh, you know? Let's walk the talk. But uh, on that note also, Momo, do you think that the fact that there's not a lot of turnover sa PLDT, it's an advantage to you girls kasi medyo sanay na kayo. You're getting used to each other. Um, Let's say, oo, oh, oh, medyo advantage ha, kasi syempre, wala masyadong adjustment na kailangan gawin. I mean, like, sila Ate Royce lang dumagdag and mm. si Venice. But then, we, we both, we all know that they can... Um, contribute sa team as well. So, mas 
feeling ko medyo advanced kasi chemistry kasi talaga yung volleyball eh. Mm -hmm. Like, doon mo talaga makikita yung teamwork as a team. Right? And work as a team. Alright, Iza, nabanggit na kanina na wala kang masyadong dumagdag sa team nyo. So, basically, buo pa rin. And it's a team that uh, that's composed by a lot of veterans. So, how is it like yung dynamic na, you know, merong uh, iilang mga mas bata, tapos may mga ate kayo, like Rhea de Macolangan, Wendy Ansimana. How yeah. does it, how is it like the team dynamics? Parang, mas magiging madali po yung transition para sa amin eh. Kasi dalawa nga lang okay. po yung nadagdag sa amin, si Ate Royce lang. And madali naman po silang makaka-catch up sa training lagi. Kasi everyone naman nag-contribute sa training kung ano yung ginagawa ng isa. Go lang ng go. Go lang go. <laughs> true though. Yes. True. Uh, Momo, a lot of people think that, okay, underdog story last time around. People might still look at you and still consider you underdogs, kahit naga semis kayo last time. What can we expect here from PLDT next conference, uh, especially in the face of tougher competition, new new teams, and of course a, a bit of a relative unknown in terms of yung field niya? Uh, siguro you guys can expect us to give our all. Siempre like uh, bibigyan namin ng magandang laban ng mga teams, especially yes. madaming bago, madaming magagaling na players na pumasok ngayon sa PBL. So, yun lang kasi everybody's working hard naman. Everybody's aiming for one goal. And I right. think kami din, yun din yung goal namin. So, we'll just show them what we got. Well, we are going to expect a lot from the PLDT <laughs> up in the PVL Invitational Conference. Uh, good luck. Can't wait to see all of you Thank in you. action. Thank Please you. stay yes. healthy and we'll yes. see you really soon. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. After the break, we'll talk about a Filipino basketball legend who will be immortalized in the FIBA Basketball Hall of Fame. Stay tuned. You're watching the game. Welcome back. You're watching the game. Great news for fans of the legendary Kaloy Loizaga. The big difference is said to be inducted posthumously to the FIBA Hall of Fame two days before the start of the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. 
Loizaga will be the second Filipino to be enshrined to the FIBA Hall of Fame and will be honored alongside Chinese superstar Yao Ming. Koloy led the Philippine team to back-to-back -back Olympiads and won the bronze medal during the 1954 FIBA World Championship in Rio de Janeiro. SBP President Al Panlilio actively spearheaded the nomination and expressed his honor and gratitude to FIBA for recognizing Loizaga's contribution to international basketball. And speaking of FIBA Basketball World Cup, here's how you can catch the games live and in person to be a part of basketball history. Buy your single day pass and get access to two live games of the FIBA Basketball World Cup for as low as 999 pesos. Enjoy this world-class game viewing experience for the entire family and witness the greatest basketball athletes in the world compete for as low as 999 pesos for two games. Head to philippines.worldcup.basketball for more information, ticket types, seat information, and other special offers. Be a part of Philippine basketball history and buy your tickets today! And that's it for tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jihir Basho. I'm Paolo De Rosario, and this has been The Game.